Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you out to the garden and show you how things are growing here in the second week of July, Zone 5B, Central Michigan. I might even get in a couple duck pictures and chicken pictures. We'll see. So let's head on out to the garden right here on Garden Gen Journey. As you can see, these are not little ducklings anymore. These girls are almost completely full grown. They are so adorable and they do do their job. I put them out in my garden in the mornings and they eat all the slugs and bugs and then they come out to the main yard to do the same. All right, so we're in the main garden and quite a bit has changed since the last video a lot of things have grown a lot more my roses are coming along beautifully gorgeous 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 i really like that yellow one right there it is beautiful and of course the neil diamond rose right there really like that one my lima beans are growing tall and are starting to climb up the trellis so that is cool all my herbs in my medicinal bed are starting to flower, plus some annuals I got in here. So that's really, really cool. I love seeing these flowers come out. And then seeing the pollinators on the flowers. I'll see if I can do some close-ups of some pollinators a little bit later. But yeah, everything's doing very well. Things are a little behind because our weather's been so wonky, but we're getting there slowly but surely. So this is the old Mother Stellard beans here. They're doing very good. My hollyhocks, my, my two pinks have finally opened up. I'm probably gonna plant some yellow in here too, so we have uh, the black, the pink, and the yellow. Corn's doing pretty good. We had to put up a fence around the corn to keep the ducks out of the corn because they were starting to eat it. Um, but it's doing pretty good. The broom corn's doing pretty good. It has not changed colors. This is supposed to be a rainbow broom corn, but it looks just like this corn so we'll see if it changes colors as it grows I have some roselle growing there and then the tomatoes growing here on this side with the borage lots of flowers to help bring in the pollinators before everything else started opening up so they're already here this is the blue lake pole bean and um, still trying to come back after the frost and after being replanted. Um, but it's, it's growing. It's just slow going. So we'll see. And then these are my Hadassah beans in here. And they're the same after being hit with that frost. It really threw them back. So we'll see if they start catching up soon or not. My cosmos is growing beautifully in this pot. Swiss chard's doing pretty good. The ducks love the Swiss chard, so they ate it quite a bit, but that's okay. This was a volunteer anyway. The sunflowers are purposely planted. They're growing all right. This one's a velvet queen. And then these ones back here are Hopis. And then more corn, of course. And look at the marshmallow plant. I'll see if I can take you in and show you the pollinators that are just loving that plant right now. There's a few pollinators buzzing around here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them because we have some of the tansy wasps, which are very, very tiny. So it's kind of hard for the camera to pick them up. I don't know if you can see them flying up there. We also have some bumblebees. I've seen some honeybees. 
all enjoying this marshmallow plant. This is my raspberry patch, and I also put my tiger eye pinto beans here, but they're not looking quite right. Tiger eye beans are a bush bean, and yet I have vines coming up out of these beans. So I'm not sure if they were cross-pollinated or what, uh, but we'll see what they produce um, when they mature. And then back over there against the wall there is my hops and it is growing up the trellis so that's a pretty good sign. My garlic is about ready to be harvested. It's planted next to my trifano violetto beans. Actually my trifano violetto beans are planted next to my garlic because the garlic was here first. But it is about time to start harvesting the garlic. The bottom uh, leaves have pretty much died back and uh, the other ones are slowly starting to die so it's time to get them out of the ground so excited to see what we're actually going to have these are my cayenne peppers they are doing beautifully they are loaded with fruit and my sweet potato is doing really good here as well now I'm going to show you some carrots that I had transplanted so you can see how they are doing so this is one pot of my winter sown transplanted carrots and you can see they're looking pretty good the tops are looking healthy so I know that they're getting the adequate nutrition and water that they need let's take a peek in here and see what they look like as far as growing so they're still pretty small down below yet they really haven't popped out of the ground but I expect these to be very, very good carrots when we get ready to eat them. This is the other pot that I had transplanted. Let's see if any of these carrots are ready to harvest yet. All right, so we have one carrot that looks pretty good. All right, so look at that carrot. Isn't that a beautiful? Sure, it's not quite big. It looks like I broke it off, but it's still a beautiful carrot, and I really, really enjoy it. This will definitely make a nice snack tonight. So this is my container bed area. I have uh, planted some beans here as well uh, when I took out some of the other seasonal crops, the lettuce and kale and things. We have more carrots here. Can you see those in there? Pretty looking good. This is one of the carrots that I, I was from this bed here. This is a short carrot. I grow lots of short carrots, short chubby carrots. It's a lot easier to try to grow than the long thin ones. So yeah, this is a really, really nice carrot. I like this one. I believe this one's the Royal Chantenay. Then we got some beets going on here. They're not doing the greatest this year. I've gotten a couple beets out of here, but um, they're not doing too good, so I might have to add some fertilizer to help them grow a little better. Look at these onions. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at the size of the bulbs we got going on here. Really wonderful looking size onions. I'm very, very excited. So that is the garden update right now. A lot of things are really starting to grow. Some things are ready to harvest and more things we're waiting for them to start to grow. But that's how gardening goes sometimes. I thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I thank you for being a part of my journey today. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you can be a part of the journey and follow along on my gardening adventures as well as health and cooking and all sorts of good stuff. I'd love to have you along. And as always, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.